I had such a great time in Japan and thought to do a part 2 video of my time in Japan. So come with me as we are going to, you guessed it, Tokyo! This was my first encounter of an AI robot, Arisa. On my way to the Sky Tree Tower, it is located in Solamachi, Tokyo. Definitely recommend it. It is the tallest tower in the world with a height of 634 meters or 2080 feet. So excited to see what the view is going to be like from up there. The Skytree Tower was completed in 1958. I definitely recommend going and seeing the Skytree Tower. The view from up there was beautiful, complete 360 view. You definitely won't be disappointed. Go early in the morning to avoid all the crowds. Um, I went a bit later, but I still enjoyed it. And I'm really glad I did go and see it. The view you just saw now was from 345 on my way to 350 meter and this is the view. As you can see, it is a popular thing to go and see and do while in Tokyo. There are so many things to do in Tokyo. You easily need like six months there. I tried to cram everything in like two days while in Tokyo, but there was just so much to see and do in Tokyo. It is definitely the most amazing city I have been to. After checking out the Sky Tree Tower, I am on my way to the Tokyo Tower. The Tokyo Tower is 333 meters tall, beautiful tower. It is very important in the Japanese culture as it symbolizes the rebirth after World War II. After all the walking around, it is time to grab a snack. You definitely won't go hungry in Tokyo, there are so many awesome restaurants and street vendors selling really delicious street food. On my way to grab some dinner, it was my first time ever to try a shabu shabu. You might be wondering what is a shabu shabu? A shabu shabu is a hot pot dish, includes thinly sliced meat and can be seafood veggies cooked in a broth and then dipped in a variety of sauces. Sauces could be either a creamy sesame dipping sauce or a ponzu soy sauce. It is believed that shabu shabu was first appeared in Kyoto in 1946. It was inspired by the sound of water as restaurant staff rinse their towels in a tub having the similar sound of beef being swished around in the broth. Definitely recommend trying out the shabu shabu, the whole experience, having to cook the meats and the veggies was just the most amazing experience and just embracing the culture too. I definitely enjoyed it so much. 
it was time to head back to the hotel get a good night's sleep i was absolutely exhausted from the day walking more than 20,000 steps the whole road was blocked off it was really cool to see the ceremony everyone got involved even the tourists started singing and clapping it was really everyone got into it it was quite cool to see Off on the next excursion, I am on my way to the Tokyo National Museum. After spending a great time in Tokyo, sightseeing, trying out new food, and recipes, it was time to head back to the boat and make delicious meals for the crew. Making pizza dough, everyone loves a good old pizza. I know I do, I am guilty of it. We had the weekend off and I am on my way to Nara. Nara is about an hour's train ride from Osaka. Dio's having a go, fighting for the same goal. The deer was clearly not in the mood for a pet. The deer just walked past me and looked at me and like, what, what do you expect me to do? One thing I really enjoyed when visiting the shrines, the temples and the Japanese gardens is the amount of Zen, tranquility and just good vibes you immediately felt when you enter there. That was like my whole experience and what I loved so much about going to these places, just how quiet it was. Like it doesn't matter if you've had a rough day, you just enter one of these places and it's just filled with so much tranquility and so zen, you already feel like you're in such a great mood already.
The weekend came and the weekend went. It was time to head back to the boat, back to work. As yacht crew, we have so much to be grateful for. We get looked after really well. We get very nice meals prepared, three meals a day, morning tea, lunch and dinner. We see really nice places. Sometimes it might just be out of a portal or a window. It really doesn't matter. It's all part of it. The places we see and go to, a lot of people don't even have the privilege to see all those places. So we have really a lot to be thankful for. After spending an amazing time in Japan, it was sadly time to say goodbye and head to the next place, which was Taiwan. So stocking up and getting the boat ready. Our last stop was Okinawa. It was great to see Okinawa. I've always heard so much about it. And then it was off to Taiwan. That's the awesome thing about traveling. You meet interesting people. You get to see the most amazing places. Memories made for a lifetime, cherished. And I'll definitely be back in this amazing place. Japan, it's been awesome. Next stop, Taiwan. 206 nautical miles, we have arrived in Taiwan. We had a beautiful crossing and it's great to be here. On our arrival in Taiwan, we had a very nice gift from our agent. It was a Taiwanese pineapple mini cake, extremely delicious, very, very nice of them. We had a short stay in Taiwan and it was time to get ready for the next destination, Philippines. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe this video and I will see you in the next video, Philippines.